I'm Brad Wheatless. The wrath of Tropical Storm Sandy being felt in several states right now. The ABC News senior weather editor Sam Champion is in the lower part of New York City. The East Coast is being pummeled with the power of a record-breaking superstorm. 90 mile per hour winds, driving rain, record-breaking high tides, and rough surf lash the coastline as the storm made landfall in southern New Jersey. The mid-Atlantic and southern New England shores hit hard by flooding. Water lapping at the doors and SIPO piled up high on the boardwalk in Seaside Heights. In New York City, a construction crane buckled, dangling in high winds. That crane still swaying tonight. A hotel next door was evacuated. ABC's Aaron Katursky, not far from where Sam is, and says seawater is pouring into the city now. Along the west side highway that runs along the length of Manhattan, there's about four to five feet of water. Cars are submerged. One guy just tried to push his car out, and he's taking a towel, dipping it in the inside of his vehicle, and wringing out the towel. It's just soaked with water. Power is out for an untold number of customers in New York City. Mike Clendenin with the electric company Con Ed. We've got two um, areas in lower Manhattan that we've had to shut power in order to protect equipment, our equipment, the customer equipment. There are other power outages which were caused by the storm itself, and overall more than 3.5 million customers in several states are without power. The MTA, which runs the subway system, took steps to keep water out of the tunnels. Joe Loda is the chairman of the MTA. When you walk down the street and you see these vents and you walk on these vents, those are for the subway system. It allows air in and allows air out. Those have all been covered, and not just covered with wood, covered and then sealed uh, so that no water can seep in. However, we're told that about four feet of seawater is now rushing into the subway tunnels. At at least eight storm-related deaths so far. You're listening to ABC News. Attention homeowners, if your home has lost value and you now owe more than your home is worth, please listen carefully to this very important message. If you purchased a home or refinanced your loan before June of 2009, Quicken Loans may now be able to help you refinance at today's incredibly low interest rates, even if you owe more than your home is worth. This is Jay Farner, president of Quicken Loans, and I want to let you know that on September 14th of this year, the government announced changes that may allow you to refinance even if your home has lost value. So if your current mortgage is higher than 3.99%, please call Quicken Loans today at 800-QUICKEN. Even if you owe more than your home is worth, you may now be able to refinance at today's incredibly low rates. Again, if you've been unable to refinance because you owe more than your home is worth and your rate is above 3.99%, call 800-QUICKEN now and let us help you take advantage of this unique opportunity. Important terms and conditions apply. Call us for cost information. Equal housing lender. License in all 50 states. NMLS number 3030. Gas prices are falling all across the country and the savings being felt on the West Coast for sure. ABC's Alex Stone is in Los Angeles. Here in California, prices are down 26 cents for regular unleaded. Still, drivers are paying 4.17 a gallon on average here. Across the country, drivers are now paying 3.57 a gallon. That's down 12 cents in the past week. In Minnesota, prices have dropped 21 cents in the past few days. A jelly bean, not the candy, but something linked to new gadgets out for your holiday shopping list. ABC's Chuck Siebertson reports. Google's unveiled its latest in a line of Nexus smartphones and a larger version of the 7-inch Nexus 7 tablet. It's also adding cellular capabilities to the Nexus 7 and doubling the capacity of existing models. The Nexus 4 has a minor update to Google's Android operating system, which is known as Jelly Bean. A more comprehensive makeover known as Keyline Pie is expected next year. The larger Nexus tablet, made by Samsung, features a 10-inch diagonal display screen, about the same size as Apple's iPad. Chuck Siebertson, ABC News. The estate of William Faulkner has lawyered up, filing a couple of lawsuits. The author's heirs say Sony Pictures violated copyright laws when it paraphrased a line about the past is never dead in the Woody Allen film Midnight in Paris. The estate also suing Northrop Grumman and the Washington Post for using a Faulkner quote, a quote that is, in a newspaper ad for the defense contractor. This is ABC News. Does your furnace need repair? Your house need cleaning? Or maybe you're ready to update your kitchen? Big or small, whatever your home improvement need, log on to handyman.homeadvisor.com. Service Magic is a free online resource with instant access to top-rated remodelers, maids, handyman, roofers, and many other home contractors. It's easy and it's free. Just go to handyman.homeadvisor.com, handyman.homeadvisor.com. That's handyman.homeadvisor.com. I'm Brad Wheelis, ABC News. 
Jim Isabella, we're going to come right back after uh, we take a little break here, and we're going to have all the school closing updates, <clears throat> and then we will take your phone calls. 330-673-1234, toll-free 800-669-4100. Update me on anything that's going on in your area. I just lost my pen. It's going to be, it's been one of those nights, folks, where everything is just going crackers crazy. So call me and let me know how, uh, if you're having any road problems, do you have power? Do you know places that don't have power? Give me a call, 330-673-1234, toll-free 800-669-4100. Back with more in a moment. <laughs> this holiday, make laughter. Oh, baby. Oh, my. Make goosebumps. Her first Christmas. This is so cute. Make memories. Make holiday magic at Zazzle.com. At Zazzle, a few simple clicks is all it takes to make a gift just for them. From playing cards to posters, iPhone covers to throw pillows, there's something for everyone on your list. Choose your gift and then customize with colors, photos, art, messages, and more. Visit Zazzle.com today and save 15% plus get free shipping when you enter code Holiday Magic. I'm Joel Mattman, president of Alarm Force. I'm proud to say that we haven't raised our monitoring rates in over 15 years. Ask customers from other home alarm companies how often during their contract their rates were increased. Call Alarm Force today and get no charge live to a voice and only $25 per month for monitoring. Call 1-800-267-2001. best choice for home security. The new CBO for McDonald's. A delectable convergence of three... Tremendous! Um, delicious toppings on the Angus Third Pounder and Premium Chicken Sandwiches. So what are these three... Tremendous! Toppings. The C is for cheddar, creamy white. B, bacon, hickory smoked. And O, onions, caramelized. Put all three... Tremendous! Please stop that. Okay. Put all three together and there's only one word to describe it. Tasty. The new CBO Sandwiches. The simple joy of a tremendous new taste. I think true love is hard to find. At McDonald's, it's as easy as three, four, five. Right now, get a McDouble or McChicken extra value meal, just three dollars. Or the daily double meal with its two sizzling all beef patties, just four dollars. And right for the dipping is a ten piece chicken McNuggets meal, just five dollars. McDonald's three, four, five extra value meals, each with a medium fries and a medium drink. The simple joy of a lot to love. Prices and participation may vary. Is the talk of Akron. WNIR 100 FM. Call now. 330-673-1234. Toll free from anywhere. 800-669-4100. Now, here's Jim Isabella. The talk of Akron. Okay, 330-673-1234, you got the numbers. Um, get online. I'm going to read off our school closings now. We'll do Medina County first. Then we will do for you um, Summit County. So here we go. This is for Medina County. All these schools will be closed tomorrow. Around the Sun Montessori Preschool, Brunswick City Schools, Cloverleaf Local Schools, um, Highland Local Schools, Medina Christian Academy, Medina City Schools, Medina County Board of Education, Medina County Career Center, Northside Christian Academy, Northside Christian Preschool, Stony Hill Christian School, and Wadford City Schools, they are all closed. Also in Medina County, Growing, it says Growing PL uh, Preschool, I don't know what that means, Growing Place Preschool in Wadsworth, closed tomorrow, all services are also canceled. Hamrick School, all classes are canceled. Um, AM classes are canceled. That's the AM classes. And I'm trying to see everything got so we got all that covered. Black River Local Schools, you're going to be delayed two hours tomorrow. So as of now, they're still going. Okay, in Summit County, Absorbent Mines Montessori, that is closed. Also closed. Akron Baptist Temple. Akron First Academy and preschool, along with all activities, are canceled for tomorrow. Akron Public Schools, closed, all of them. Akron YMCA Phoenix School, closed. All About Kids Preschool, closed. Arlington Christian Academy Elementary, closed. AM classes are canceled. Barberton City Schools, closed. Chapel Hill Christian Green Campus, closed. 
Copley Fairlawn City Schools, along with Cornerstone Community um, in Stowe, that is closed as well. Coventry Local Schools, along with Congo Falls City Schools, and Congo Valley Christian Academy now, those are all closed. Edge Academy is closed, all meetings canceled. Education Alternatives in Congo Falls, closed tomorrow, all activities canceled. Fairlawn Village Preschool, closed. Fairlawn West Preschool, all activities canceled. Faith Lutheran Preschool, closed. Family Child Learning Center Preschool, closed. YMCA, uh, excuse me, Firestone Park YMCA, all AM classes are canceled tomorrow. Green Family YMCA, the preschool closed, daycare open tomorrow, AM classes canceled. That's Green Family YMCA, preschool closed, daycare open tomorrow, AM classes canceled. Green local schools are closed. Hope Academy on Brown Street, Hope Academy University, and Hope Preschool in Akron all closed. Now also joining the list, Hudson City Schools are closed. Immaculate Heart in Cuyahoga Falls is closed. Lawrence School Upper School closed. The LEAP program in Green closed. All activities canceled. Life Skills Center Summit County closed. Life Skills Center North Akron closed. Lollipop Co-op closed. Manchester Local Schools are also closed tomorrow along with the Marantha Preschool Park closed. That's M A R A N A N. Uh, excuse me, M A R A N A T H A. Marantha Preschool Park closed. Mayfair Christian School is closed. Mogador Christian Academy closed. Mogador Local Schools all closed. Nordonia City Schools are closed. North Akron Catholic School is closed. Along with Northfield Baptist School. Norton City Schools, Old Trail School, and Our Lady of the Elms, all are closed. That's all, all the uh, schools that they have with the Our Lady of the Elms. Bark Little Shepherd Preschool is closed, as is Portage Lakes Career Center, Project Learn Summit, Revere Local Schools, Super Learn Center, S-U-P-E-R, that is closed and all activities are canceled. Spring Garden Waldorf School is closed along with Springfield Local Schools and all activities are canceled also for Springfield. St. Anthony of Padua, that's a new one from Akron, that is closed, as is St. Augustine's in Barberton closed. St. Barnabas Elementary is closed. St. Francis de Sales in Akron closed. St. Mary in Akron closed. St. Matthew Elementary closed. St. Paul Elementary closed. St. Paul's Nursery closed. St. Vincent de Paul in Akron closed. Stowe, Monroe, Full City Schools are now closed. Summit Academy and Elementary in Akron are closed. As are Summit Academy, Akron Middle Schools, along with all activities, are closed. Summit Christian School closed. Talmadge City Schools are closed. The Littman School closed. Twinsburg is also joined list. They're closed, as is Walt Jesuit High Schools closed. Also joining the list, Woodland Preschool, we had that before, and now the Woodridge Local Schools, they are closed in Wayne County. This is the only one for Wayne County so far. Triway Local Schools, you are delayed two hours tomorrow. And we're going to have a whole list tomorrow morning with Phil Ferguson and the morning crew. Good luck, guys. And we'll update the list before we go off the air again. All right, let's get back to the callers. I apologize, but we've got a lot to do, so let's get to it. Uh, open lines right now, 330-673-1234, toll free 800-669-4100. I will also read the list around 1030, uh, try probably around 1045 and near 11 o'clock. So let's get as many calls in as we can. WNIR, good evening. Hello. Hello, how are you? Okay, I just want to report a poll out here on Road Oak Avenue and Hutchin Drive, Cargo Falls. Okay. Uh, is that around your area, you say? Yeah, that's over. That sounds about in my area, yeah. I've uh, been out for about an hour now, it seems like. Yeah, I'll bet you it's been all of that because uh, my kids uh, have been out. Let's see. I'm going to check my little list here because I had uh, my wife's been out with it for a while now, so it's she got the I first one. I don't know. Do you know what the trouble is? Well, it's probably the it's probably the wind. It's just blowing out, you know, it's blown blowing lines down. That's the biggest problem. Yeah, well, we got underground wires, but they're probably flooded out. Well, here's the other question: Have you reported your stuff? Because yeah, I tried to. I, I tried. I did get through one time. 
Okay. Because you got to let them know. If you don't let them know, then that's... I don't know. I, I, I knew it right as soon as that went up. Okay, good for you. All right. Okay, Jim. All right, thank you for the call. All right. All right. WNIR, good evening. Hey, is that me? Yes, you. Go ahead, please. Hey, I just wanted to thank you for all the information. I thought this was always when uh, Tom Erickson shined, you know, because there's no one else live on right now. There's no one else local, you know. And, yep. uh This is really... This is really needed. So, hey, nothing from Stark County yet? No, and it, it's funny because I was just looking. There's nothing from Portage County yet either. Okay. And I will, I'll, I'll, I'll check the list again. We're, uh, we're listening. Thank oh, you. Thank you. All right. Uh, let me know how you guys are doing, if you have power or not, what area you're in, and if you've had any uh, trouble driving tonight. Again, WNIR weather, high wind warning through 4 p.m. Tuesday. 30 to 40 mile per hour winds, gusts up to 65 miles per hour are possible. We also have a flood watch through Tuesday evening. So if you've been in some flooded areas before, be careful. I know there's some areas of Firestone Park years ago got nailed. Depends where you live. Again, we're going to have a 100% chance of rain through tomorrow night. The lows tonight and tomorrow night, 43. Although our temperature right now, we're at 39. We're 39 to 40 degrees right now here at Broadcast Park. We're only going to have a high of 48 degrees. And again, the wind gusts tonight up to 60, tomorrow 55. That's the gusts, okay? And we have uh, the winds dying down tomorrow night, allegedly 15 to 25 miles per hour. Again, folks, this is a storm of the century that is just so huge you can't even describe it. Again, our current temperature right at 39.7 here at Broadcast Park at the talk of Akron WNIR. It's just a nasty night that's all you can say about it uh, we'll take some calls here in just a second but again we will keep you updated on the list i have not seen anything for stark county nor portage county uh, we're using our friends at wkyc uh, their website wkyc.com to uh, link up to that because i checked with our news director phil ferguson and uh, they're of course our news partner so we have no problem using them all right let's get back to the callers wnir good evening Good evening. Hello, how are you? I'm just calling to add my complaint to the electricity. Okay, where are you at? We're in the Brook Point Village uh, on East Bath Road. Okay, what city would that be? Is that... Uh, Chicago Falls. Chicago Falls, okay. How long have you been out? Since nine? Uh, that's about right, yeah. Okay. Um, did you call in your com to let them know that you're out? No, we couldn't get through it. Oh, really? So everybody's really jumping on board. <laughs> well, yeah, and the Falls, of course, has their own power. For those of you who don't know, Cuyahoga Falls has their own power system. I know this caller knows that. So it's different than First Energy. So um, uh -huh. you, were, you also got to worry. Now, if, I haven't been outside in a while. Is I don't see any lightning. Is there any lightning out? No, I haven't seen any lightning. So then it's all going to be either wind or flood problems. Well, my guess is trees going down the line somewhere. Yeah, that's... And that's always the problem. And of course, it falls, they have their own workers. But like I said, I'm worried about First Energy and some of these other places if they're going to have enough people. Because a lot of them had to go fly out to the coast, you know, to be ready for this thing. Yeah, that's true. Uh, have you heard anything about the Long State Road itself in Tiger Falls? No, I have not. Because I work at the bank, at First Merit Bank, and I'm wondering whether or not we're going to be open. So. Well, that's going to be, I think the problem is going to be they're going to, you know, the priority list for these things always goes, of course, your emergency services, your hospitals, they're the priority, you know. So like if there was a problem at, at, at a hospital or something, they'll take care of them. Then they look for, then they have a lit checklist, senior citizens, senior citizen apartment, you know, those kind of dwellings go first and then the rest of us knuckleheads. <laughs> yeah, okay. So hey, you know, just don't open the refrigerator door. No, I might, we might have to go to bed and see what happens by the morning. Yeah, yeah, I'll probably check it anyway. So, well, we'll be back here tomorrow. Let me know how you came out if you're doing okay, all right? Okay, thank you. Thank you. All right. Have a good night. You too. Yeah, the Falls is apparently the one that's gotten hit so far. If you have any other power outages, let me know. Of course, a lot of people, now I know there's a lot of people who don't listen, but there are people who are turning on the radio to listen to us. They have the battery power, which is always a good idea. Um, you should always have, you know, they always talk about flashlights. If you have a generator, that's always good. But um, I'm sure right now there's a lot of generators that are being sold before they uh, before they close. A lot of the, now, 
the Home Depots and the Lowe's probably closed what around nine o'clock. Hmm. So that would leave the big box stores then to sell those things if they even even have them in stock. All right, let's get back to some more callers here. Ten twenty. Again, it's thirty nine degrees. They said that our low would be in the forties. Well. We may get down there, so on top of everything else, it may get really cold, and you may want to give yourself extra time to de-ice your car tomorrow. WNIR, good morning. Evening. Hello. Hello. Hey, I've been on the road since 5 o'clock. This is your friendly courier. Yeah, how you doing? Hey, it's wonderful out here. Because <laughs> there's nobody? You know, to be honest with you, I have not had any problem. I drive a little Kia Spectra. Mm -hmm. Um. It, the only time that it, and it usually walks on me whenever I get, it gets windy. The only mm -hmm. time I had any problem was when I went down 71 from Lodi to Montrose. Um, I have a run out there that was about 8 o'clock, where it runs 8 o'clock. Mm -hmm. One time it walked a little bit, and it seems to be a lot windier. I'm just coming out of Cuyahoga Falls. Um, I'm just coming up on Central Interchange now. Um, as I was coming through, I go up and pick up up there at uh, Akron General up there, mm -hmm. um, and I came out of there at 10 after 10, so uh, when I was going down Route 8, just as I came around that big curve there at, um, um, I'm trying to remember what that road is. Past Road? No, not that, that up towards, um, God, How? I can't remember the name. Further up north. Um, oh, uh, Steel's Corners? Silver Lake. What is that? Yeah, that's, that's right around Graham Road and all that. Yeah, Yeah, right around Graham Road. That's the exit that I was uh, coming up on. When I came around that big curve right there on, on Route 8, mm -hmm. and all the street lights on Route 8 went out. Just that one little patch, as soon as I got around the corner, yeah. it was the lights were back on. I mean, it, literally, I'm driving and boom, out they went. <laughs> Um, but that's the only evidence of um, power loss that I have seen. Mm -hmm. um, I did talk to somebody at one of my trips at the hospital who lived in Kenmore, and he said he had just talked to someone at his house, and his electric was out. I live close to Kenmore. I live right in Manchester Waterloo Road area. Yeah. I still have power. I come home and talk to my husband, and there's still power there. So I don't know. It's kind of weird. Mm -hmm. <laughs> But honestly, I'm right now the driving is not bad other than it's raining and everybody's going slower than normal, mm -hmm. um, which I normally do when it rains anyway. Uh, but, you know, it's not so bad out here right now, at least where I've been. I've been on mostly major roads. So, uh, but I've been, like I said, I've been all over since 5 o'clock. Yeah, I'm just wondering about delivery tomorrow, what it's going to be like. And, uh, you know, my, my problem is, too, I'm just thinking, well, I hope I have electricity so I can at least take a shower. <laughs> yeah. Because I'm not taking a cold shower, my friend. No, no, no. Pull off the axe. <laughs> yeah, oh, my heavens.